Welcome to my review of the JBL Voyager speaker dock. On first glance you could be forgiven for thinking the Voyager is a standard mains powered Bluetooth speaker dock. But JBL have tried to be a bit clever and do something a little bit different. The JBL Voyager contains the best of both worlds in terms of a mains powered speaker dock and also a portable battery operated speaker dock all in one handy package outputting 7 watts a channel the Voyager is a 2.1 system the outer donut is the subwoofer system and the inner disc which removes like this contains the stereo speakers and more importantly quite a large battery which allows it to operate for about five hours away from the dock. Rather cleverly, you can dock and undock it without interrupting the music. The disc itself is held in place with magnets and stays in place quite firmly. On the back there's another pleasant surprise in as much as you have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, which you can see on the left. In the middle is a USB connection on the right the power jack. Rather disappointingly the disc's 1000 milliamp battery won't power the subwoofer when it's docked which is a shame but I can understand why they've done it in terms of battery longevity. As you can see from the device in profile it's a handsome looking beast. I like the mixture of the metal grill, the white plastics around and then the clear covering on the subwoofer section at the back. The attention to detail carries on with the white feet, although they are a little fiddly to feed the power cable through. And I have to admit, I found it rather easy to stand one of the feet on the cable. The box itself is neatly packed and contains two different plugs, depending on uh, where you live, the power adapter, and a USB cable. The USB cable is quite long which is handy but what it doesn't contain is a three and a half mil auxiliary cable and given the price I think it should also probably contain a pouch or a slip wallet for the portable dock so when you're out and about it doesn't get scuffed. As a comparison in terms of size you can see the JBL Voyager stood next to a Sonus Play 3. Despite being narrower, the stereo separation is pretty good. And obviously what it lacks in Wi-Fi, it more than makes up for in terms of Bluetooth capabilities and its portability. Of course, the most important aspect with a speaker dot like the JBL Voyager is its sound quality. And I have to say, I was extremely surprised by the audio fidelity and the sheer volume on display. It goes very, very loud, but not at the expense of distortion or a muffled sound. I go as far as to say the volume is probably on par with the Sonus Play 3, something I wasn't expecting. The portable disc obviously takes a hit in terms of fullness of sound because it's not attached to a subwoofer but nevertheless it does nothing to be ashamed of. The JBL Voyager had a manual volume knob. It would go up to 11. It is surprisingly loud. The Voyager takes a wide variety of music in its stride ranging from the likes of thrash metal, a bit of Megadeth, some Metallica through to some 70s progressive rock Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon or Wish You Were Here all sound equally good as a further test I plugged it into my PC fired up Steam and used it to play Tomb Raider once again I was surprised by the stereo separation but also the subtlety it dealt with the atmospheric sound effects the running water, the wind in the trees, they all came across remarkably well from what is effectively a 
a Bluetooth speaker dock designed for playing music. The JBL Voyager retails for £229, which on the face of it seems a lot, but once you consider that you're getting effectively two speaker docks for the price of one, you're getting a mains powered, powerful subwoofer driven speaker dock, but you're also getting this central disc which you can take with you. And it does function very well on its own. It's not a gimmicky afterthought. This is off back to JBL now, and I for one shall miss it, which is a good recommendation on its own, I suppose.